Hi, uh, this is Dan from Magloft, and in this video, I'm going to walk you through the before and after results you can expect when you use Magloft's professional PDF to HTML conversion service. I've prepared four different articles from four different publications for you today, um, which represent the different kinds of content that you can reproduce from PDF to HTML. And I will show you the PDF first, followed by how that looks on a mobile device, and then a tablet and computer device. So let's jump straight in. This is the first article. As you can see, it's a double column format. Um, we have a nice big image. We've got a couple of other images with some breaks in the paragraphs, with some standout headings and texts. So let's have a look how this was reproduced on the mobile device. So you can see on the right hand side, we've got a window that represents the mobile device and we can scroll through really easily. Um, there is a parallax effect at the top here so the text rolls over the images which gives the reader a nice experience and you can see that the font is represented um, the same as was used in the PDF so it stays on brand. We have a nice um, recreation of the text break um, which really reflects the PDF look and feel. Um, as we slide down, you can see we've got a couple of images coming up, and what you'll notice is there is a slight slide-in effect, um, which you can do with the Magloft content editor. Um, and then we continue to slide through. It's a fairly long article, this one. And then we've got another image coming up, which you can see with the quote on top, um, works really well on a small device. Um, now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to slide back to the top shortly after we get to the bottom here where you can see the final image. Um, and we're going to see what this looks like on a wider window, which would represent what your reader would see on a tablet or a computer device. So if we wait, it's a little bit wider. What you'll notice is the publisher has opted back for a double column format, which does work really well on a tablet and a computer screen where you've got a bit more real estate for the reader. Um, so as we go through this, the formatting is the same. We've got a slightly different effect on the images, um, but it's reproduced really well and our publisher was really happy with the, the output. The good thing with this type of service is we can create templates and if you're using similar styles of article, this can be reused for future editions. So let's move on to the next example. And the next example is very different. So this is part of a children's magazine. And you can see we've got a chronological step-by-step -step bits of information following a path, which is not what your standard um, PDF to HTML conversion would have. So let's see what we've done to transition this over to a mobile device. And actually, because this is chronological, what we've done is we've worked with the, the vertical scrolling nature on a mobile device. So from a reader point of view on a mobile device, it's actually really good. You can just keep scrolling through, um, and it makes a lot of sense, and it follows the chronological order. Now, if you were to use this on a tablet or a computer screen, we'll make this a little bit wider, and we've utilized the three-column approach, which again is in order, and it's delivered a really great effect. Now it's always good to know when you're looking at PDF to HDL conversion, it's not always going to be like for like. There are going to be some changes, um, but we work through that with you, with our designer, um, to tell you what's possible. Um, and then also to show you what you couldn't do with your PDF, which you could do in HTML. And that's gonna come through in the next example. So the next example is an article um, about Michael Jackson, where we have some text and we've got some really cool imagery. So as we slide through, we've got a couple of images here, and then we have another couple of images, and that's the entirety of the, the article. So let's, as before, reduce my screen so we can see the PDF on the left, and now we've got the mobile device experience here on the right. And if we scroll through, the text comes through really nicely. It's maintained the look and feel of the design of the PDF with some interactive elements. And as we slide through, you can see there was a delay on the Michael Jackson popping up, which is really cool. 
and we've also used our image slider widget to accommodate the two images on this page so your reader can scroll between them. And the limit isn't two here. You could have multiple images of different sizes using the Magloft um, slider image uh, widget. We've got two more images which again have a delayed effect and if I scroll back to the top to show you the, the wider view we still have the text and you can really see the pop-up there are much better so it works really well nice delay so it works really well with the scrolling but it also works well on a mobile device. And the final article I've prepared for you today is a two column um, article um, with multiple images um, and also you can see here this is actually a video but that doesn't work in a PDF. So we have worked together another video here with the publisher to recreate this in HTML. And HTML enables you to embed video and audio. So let's have a look at the mobile device um, conversion. So here we go. You've got the heading. Here we go, crushing, impossible. And it's single column because this is a mobile device. Um, we have the images that have come through, but now we have embedded a Vimeo video, which we have as a, as a widget in our editor. So you can click play and you can stay inside the content, which is really cool. We have another video here. Um, and we've also embedded some HTML code in some adverts. So you can click on this and it will take you to wherever you want that to go. Um, so that's another cool feature of moving from PDFs to HTML. Now, I'm gonna scroll back to the top and finally show you what that looks like on a tablet or a computer. So here's the beginning of the article and it lo really looks very similar to the PDF, which is important for a lot of publishers because they spend a lot of time and effort creating a, a brand look and feel for their magazines, which can be reproduced using our editor, but also using our professional PDF to HTML conversion service at Magloft. Here we have the videos and another great reader experience. So if you're interested in learning more, um, book a call with us. Um, we're happy to give you an estimate um, and we look forward to hearing from you. Thanks.